Alright, we've already seen a lot of PS2 homebrew working on the PS3. Unfortunately, some stuff doesn't work because of hardware, some due to hardware limitations, others because it's missing some necessary PS2 files. So there is a workaround. What you need is PSX Loader. Now, if you already got USB Launch 4.12 working with USB mats, you wouldn't have to do this step. A lot of stuff on the USB. Let's go on down. And what you need is that IRX. You would have to copy that. To MC0. Onto your B data folder. I'm not going to do it because I already got it there. Alright, once you got that in there, okay, I said you need the program PSX Loader. Put that in the root, your USB drive, and all the else you want to load inside there. Now also, there's the modules. I'm not going to go too much into that, but it's inside the README to find out where to get those files. Alright, let's go back to the XMB. Swap magic. And this time I'm going to be boot up PSX loader. Which I renamed to SM Boot. These are some of the things you can run with PSX Loader. You tap on it's also by Hermes. Nice little game. PS Media, Media Player, another Media Player, SNX, and PGen. PTOR shouldn't be there, but. So let's load up SNES. See it loads up. Now you could load it off the USB because you do have access. I wanted to show it's possible to load ROMs right off the memory card. the option screen even calibrate your screen and let's boot up the ROM and it's great because it gives people the opportunity and not too friendly with Linux the ability to play a little bit of emulation. And you can even play two player, both using two six X controllers. Okay. 
and two people at the same time, but... in-game menu turning out to be a long video let's just go up Desert Strike and of course your PS2 homebrew also gets upscaled so you get all kinds of little advantages of running PS2 homebrew on the PS3 go Desert Strike For those who don't believe it's actually running. That's about it. Have a happy new year, everyone. It's just a quick game. And we're back in PS3 mode. That's it. Bye, everyone.